All right, right now we're looking at Nitro Man, and I'm going to skip right past showing you the footage of me not doing so well and just get right into the strategy. Now, the first thing you need to know about Nitro Man is he's a car or a little motorcycle dude, so you have to dodge his zigzaggy approach. So right here, he tries to dazzle you. Just make sure that you look very closely. He's going to try to jump right at your position, so you need to watch out. But otherwise, the two buzz saws on the left and right are going to roll along the ground. So all you really need to do is walk to the side and jump. So that's his second mix-up or his, his way of attacking. Just make sure you don't jump too much. Now right here, he has four buzz saws on the screen. It looks all complicated, but all you have to do is jump over the one on the ground and walk under the one that bounces. And it really becomes simple. Let's see it again. Walk away from his homing attack, jump over the one on the ground, walk under that one. But what about this trap? It looks like there's nothing you can do to avoid it, but let's look at what happens if you try to walk away. No, that's not going to work. Let's look what happens if you try to pull the jumping game away from the center of the screen. It looks like that's a very effective strategy, and actually you can pull it far away from the point where that buzzsaw would hit you. And that's a complete strategy. Takes quick fingers, so that's dexterity, especially if you want to shoot Nitro Man in between every jump. But the little bit of knowledge that you gain of knowing how to avoid the buzzsaw attacks and what to look for really calms you down in this match and creates a very effective counter strategy. So right now let's look at what it takes or what it looks like to perfect Nitro Man using just the M Buster and Mega Man. So here's what I'm thinking. Watch out for his opening move. Oh, it's the race car thing. Easy. Jump shoot, jump shoot, jump shoot, even though I'm missing, it's not that big of a deal. Walk forward, jump straight up, jump straight up. Jump shoot, jump shoot, jump shoot. Walk forward, jump straight up, jump, walk back, walk forward. Pull the battle away from the center of the screen. Walk forward, dodge his homing attack, straight up, jump straight up, and he's almost dead. You can see how effective this strategy is. <laughs> All right, now we have Solar Man. I had a really hard time with this guy at first. It was really difficult to see where he was going to jump and what, how to dodge his fireball attacks. But eventually, as you can see right here in this video example, he only has a couple of different variations. He can either jump one square, two square, three squares, or the, four, the full screen. And by squares, I mean those little sections at the bottom. So knowing that, if he jumps one, he's not going to shoot a fireball. If he jumps two, he shoots one. If he jumps three, he shoots two. And then you just need to memorize this little run, skip, run, jump, run, jump pattern to dodge his homing fireball attack from the ceiling. So really, you memorize the patterns, and this guy really doesn't have much else from that. So one tactic I had to develop in order to conquer this guy is to hang out in the middle as much as possible because that gives you the best chances of reacting to anything that he might do and not to be afraid to jump into the space where he just was and I call that shadowing so you're trying to be his shadow so right here I'm in the middle I do the jump run jump run jump run jump to avoid the homing attacks from the sky but right here I'm just hanging out in the middle and walking as closely as possible to him after he jumps or being ready to bail to the sides and as long as he doesn't jump to the very sides of the screen jumping to the sides is a very safe strategy but you gotta stay light on your feet and really he just crumbles after you know this little bit of footwork in the middle of the stage just walking a little bit closer to him and being ready to jump and that's all that's all it takes alright now we're at chill man and I think chill man is one of the most difficult and interesting bosses in the game so just check out some of his attacks right here he can shoot ice into the field and even combo you with his own icicle touch icicle attack so you have to be really careful of so many options that he has. So let's check out his first way of attacking. It's a triple ice shot, and when they hit the wall or the floor, they turn into icicles you gotta avoid. The first shot hits low, the second shot hits high, so you need to stay on the ground. But the third shot aims at Mega Man, so you really have to make sure you pull it away from situations that'll cause you to uh, trap yourself like this. Don't want to do that. You have to be very conscious and maybe jump early over those traps. So check out this situation. He jumps up in the sky and shoots these same five icicles in the same five places every time. So you can memorize a spot where you're safe and sort of play around. But what he wants you to do is get yourself in a corner so he can trap you with this jumping attack. And the later you react to this jumping attack that always jumps towards Mega Man, 
the the better his trap is because he can just turn around and shoot you. So right when you see him jump, you need to use your reflexes and jump over him and don't worry about the icicle on the ground. It'll disappear and even if he tries to counterattack you, if you're quick on your feet, you can avoid that trap. That was one of the most difficult traps to, uh, to figure out a counter against when I was playing through this for the first time. So even if you hang out in the middle to avoid his 5 icicle strike, you still have to be careful of his turnaround shot icicle attack. Now Ice or Chill Man can do 4 things when he's staring at you on the ground. He can jump into the sky and shoot 5 icicles, he can run at you, he can jump at you, or he can shoot you. Now whenever Chill Man runs at you in a corner, you need to just assume he's going to jump back into the sky because the designers didn't want to make a situation where he can completely trap you because then that would take away from the solvability of Mega Man 10's boss design. So with Chill Man, you really need to understand how ice affects the battlefield. You'll be sliding around and you need to be really careful with your finger work so that ups the dexterity requirements. And all of his, the four mix-ups that he can do on the ground and all the icicle setups in addition to how you can slide and jump into them, just really complicate the battle. So you really need to be on your toes, and you also need to look out for his icicle shots and his jumping attacks and react to them as quickly and as early as possible. So that makes this one of the most challenging uh, bosses in the game, so let's see how I deal with it. Icicle shot, lead the homing shot away, jump into the space, slide backwards, guess what he does, and watch out for his icicle attack when I jump over, okay. Icicle in the air, just do my plan, shoot the ice in the corner, and jump over, anticipate the shot, and keep moving. He repeats, don't worry about it, jump over the icicle shot, lead the homing shot away, jump into the space, and keep moving. And everything just kind of comes together.